I am Mr. Kanyele. Let us look at how they set this in the examinations. Remember, it's about the 10 theorems that I want us to look at for now. In the future, we'll be looking at the three theorems that has to do with grade 12. Now, remember even the theorems, stating the theorems is examinable. Like you see here in the example of 2014, it was question 8. 8.1, complete the following statement. It means that we're giving you a theorem, you've got to complete it. The angle between the tangent and the chord at the point of, con of contact is equal to the angle between the tangent and the chord at the point of contact is equal to the angle subtended by that chord in the alternate segment. Once we ask you about the theorem, we are definitely going to apply it in the actual problem. So the first part that I wanted to emphasize is that all theorems are examinable. The angle between a tangent and a chord at the point of contact is equal to the angle subtended by that chord in the alternate segment. That is the tan chord theorem. And you can be able to see it in the diagram. This is the tangent and this is the chord. Right. In the diagram, A, B, C, D and E are points on the circumference. In the diagram, A, B, C and D are points on the circumference such that AE is parallel to BC. That becomes important. AE, AE is parallel to BC. I see parallel lines. I don't see a triangle. So it's not the theorem that, has to, that says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. So it is grade 8, grade 9. Where you need to see the alternate angles, the corresponding angles, the co-interior angles. So if these lines are parallel, and this line will act as a transversal line, you must be able to see the alternate angles. That becomes important in this particular case. Others, they talk of a Z that is being formed. So this one is equal to this one. Because these two lines are parallel, therefore E1 is the same as, as, as uh, B3. That's what I'm getting from the fact that the two lines are parallel. B, E, and C, D produced meet at F, right? B, E, meet at F, right? Uh, G, B, H is a tangent to the circle at B. This is a tangent. I think of theorems that deals with a tangent. Tan chord theorem, tan radius theorem, two tangents from the same point. I don't see two tangents from the same point here, so that theorem falls off. Tan radius. A radius is coming from the center. There is no line that is coming here to the tangent, so that one falls off. Tan chord theorem. This is chord, this is tangent, so this one will work out. So this is a chord, this is a tangent. I go with the chord to the circumference. So this angle is called to that one. We got that one from tan chord theorem. B1 is 68 and F is 20. Let's see what we have. Let's quickly work it out. Question number one, for two marks, find the value of E1. Where is E1? This is where E1. What will be the size of E1? Ah, I've got this one at 68. This is a tangent and this is a chord. If I go with the chord to the circumference, I will land at E1. So E1 is the same as 68. Reason, tan chord theorem. There's a mark for 68 and there's a mark for tan chord theorem. It's only two marks. So I know that this angle is also 68 degrees. Reason, tan chord theorem. What is the next question there? The next question want us to find B2. Want us to find B2. Uh, let's take it a bit up. Right. Is that okay with you? Let's find B2. B2 in this particular case, let's see it. Where is B2? Oh, this now has moved. It's no longer here. It should be there, 68. This is 68 degrees. Find B3. Do I see where B3 is? This is where B3. And you can see that these two are related because these two lines are parallel. What then is B3? B3 is also equals to 68 degrees. Why? It's because they've got alternate angles. Remember when you mention alternate angles, don't forget to mention parallel lines. You'll say it's 
B3 is 68 degrees alternate angles AE parallel to BC. Let me write that one. B3, okay, so E1 is equal to 68 degrees. What was the reason? Tanko theorem. Now we are saying B3 is also equal to 68. What is the reason? Alternate angles. And what is what are parallel lines? AE parallel to BC. So I get my max. 8.2.3. Find D1. Okay, where is D1? This is where D1 is. I hope you are able to see what this is. This is a cyclic quad. I want you to see this cyclic quad. Ah. And in relation to this cyclic quad, what is D1? D1 is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. I want you to, to look at this cyclic quad. This is the cyclic quad. Remember my theorem says the exterior angle of a, a cyclic quad is equal to the interior opposite angle. So D1 will also be equal to 68. Uh, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. Right? So D1 is also equal to 68. What is the next question there? Find E2. Where is E2? Okay, this is where E2 is. If you go back to your grade 8, let's go back to our grade 8. Remember we talked about the exterior angle earlier on. Uh, let, let me just create it. E2, I can see E2 there. There's something like this. There's something like F there, and there's something like this one, which comes down here. So this is E, this is where E2 is. And I've got 20 degrees left, which is F. What do I've got? I've got D1, we've already found D1 to be 68. This is 68 degrees. I'm looking for E2. Remember this? That the exterior angle, this angle here, is equal to this angle plus this one. So these two will give me that one. So in the very same way, E2 will be equal to that one plus this one. It's actually that theorem from grade 8. Hence we started there when we're dealing with grade 8, grade 9. So my E2, E2 in this part of the case, E2 is equal to D1, which is D1 plus uh, F, which is the same as 68 plus 20, which will eventually give me 88. So D1, I mean E2, is equal to 88 degrees. This is 88. Right, E2 is equal to 88 degrees. This one, the exterior angle of this triangle, this is the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Remember that our D1 was 68 degrees. So D2 will be 88. The next question is looking for, for C. How do we go about find C? Remember, our C in this particular case, there is a cyclic quad here, yeah, there is a cyclic quad. And we know that this one plus this one must give us uh, 180 degrees. Uh, hence, 88 plus C must give me that. So this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degrees, the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quad. All right, we are looking for angle, the value of this angle, angle C. We know that this is a, a cyclic quadrilateral. So this angle plus this angle must give us 180 degrees. So it makes this angle C to be 92 degrees. So that's important that you must be able to solve this. It's all about theorems, nothing else. I want us to look at the next problem. Thank you.